man, excuse me, greasy face this morning. Put my moisturizer on. So basically, Brian Norman Sr. is out here saying that they're close to uh, getting a boots fight done. Um, indications are saying pretty much that the fight is probably going to go, go down. And um, in, uh, in Philadelphia, which I don't really understand. Um, you know, why would they go to Philly? Um, you know, you got these people who have this uh, imaginary, uh, you know, who have this imaginary, you know, thought in Philly where, you know, Jerron Boots in this is this, this major draw, okay? Um, you know, he's just this major draw or whatever. And um, like, oh, fight, they like tell Boots to fight or uh, tell Bud to fight Boots in, in, um, in Philadelphia. Like, why would we go to Philly? Like I said, I said on the live the other day, uh, on Tuesday afternoon while we had that storm, uh, why would you go to Philly and fight Boots, like who? I mean, this this facade, and I'm gonna talk about something else that somebody posted that my boy sent me from from Texas. Hey, like, why would I go? Why would I go to Philly and fight Jerron Boots Ennis? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Why would I go to Philly to fight Jerron Boots Ennis? That's all I want to know. Like one, well, why why are we even in Philly? Like, that's not even a destination spot. No disrespect to them brothers out there, but that's not even a destination spot, homeboy. So why am I even going to Philly? You know, to begin with, like, why am I going out to Philly? So that's one thing that I just need to know. Why are we going out to Philly? You know, and one, he not no big draw. The majority of the public don't even know who he is. You know what I'm saying? The majority of the public don't know who Jerron Boutinus is. And tell me I'm lying about that. Tell me I'm lying about that. The majority of the public don't know who Brian, who, who Jerron Boutinus is. He not no draw. His numbers on Showtime wasn't that good. Let's keep it real. His numbers on Showtime wasn't that good. So to sit here and go here and be like, oh, man, you know, he's a hell of a draw or he's this and he's that. And it's like, okay, bro. Like they living in the fantasy world when it come when it come to talking about boots. You know, they come into a fantasy world. Like he he's this indestructible greatest of all time fighter that you know don't have to get tested and fight nobody. And then my thing is it's to the point where right it's to the point where uh to the point where you know I just noticed this about boxing certain fighters ain't gotta never fight nobody, but the fighters that fight that fights people and fight everybody. They got it. They they tell them this. They tell them this. Oh, you ain't beat nobody. You ain't did this. You they trying to just take away from their victories, whatever. Like this dude has literally done nothing. And even if he beat Brian Norman Jr. in a good fight, I mean, what the fuck has Brian Norman Jr. done? Yeah, he fought Giovanni. He did more than boots. He fought a dude that he was he that was that was that 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 was meant to beat him. I will say that he he won a fight as an underdog. So he done something, but this don't raise the profile up. You know, it can if they make a great fight, but this ain't really a big profile raising fight. But I think they can I think they should fight and they should do it early. But going to Philly and acting like Jerron Boots Ennis is some type of some type of killer. You know what I'm saying? Acting like he's some type of killer. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. That's super duper crazy. Like he's some type of killer.
you know? Like, and he's some type of superstar fighter, and and he very may well be to that point. But don't forget, he's 27 years old right now. And his best win is is is, is versus that uh that the dude, the Ivy, the guy he he fought before he got the title. What is his brother's name? I don't want to disrespect back home slice. Um shit, that nigga ain't even in the rankings no more. Hold on. But they say they're close, and shout out to the Normans for uh, for taking the fight and feeling like they, they can beat Jerron Boots. And it's, they swear this nigga is invincible, bro. Maria Monvila. They swear this dude is invincible. You know what I'm saying? They swear this dude is invincible, bro. They swear for God that he invincible. They do. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, I feel that. Uh, you know, I feel I feel that uh, the Normans. You know, they you know they say it's close. So, but you know, we ain't heard Bob say nothing. We really ain't heard Eddie say nothing. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It could be. So, uh, so we just got to wait and see, you know, what the ticket is on that. But they say they're close to getting it done. Um, so, um, yeah, I look, I look forward to it, man, to be honest. I um, think it'll be a great fight for the sport of boxing. I think it'll be a great fight for the brothers. Um, yeah, I think, I think it, I think it'll be, um, you know, I, th- I think it. I think it'll be fantastic, to be honest. So, uh, you know, I look forward to it. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, they be acting like this dude is indestructible. He's some type of superstar, uh, and he ain't done nothing yet. And I believe in the talent, but guess what? We gotta see it. We gotta see the talent. But I found this funny post, right? And like I said before, man. Um, boxing is so goofy, um, super duper goofy. I don't think people notice how goofy, um, boxing really is. Right. So I seen this post, give me a minute real quick. Let's cue this up. So my homie from Texas sent this to me, bro. Like um, hilarious, hilarious. Look this, I'm gonna just let you miss it. I'm so tired of Twitter, bro. X, whatever you want to call it. It's dumb. Hold on. So check this out. So I don't even know who this guy is. He said, all right, this is the dude from Cigar Talk. So I didn't know who the fuck this was. Yeah, he about to get cooked. I like dog. Um, seemed to be solid. But he about to get cooked. I got to cook him, all right? This is why I'm going to be out the boxing space because it's just, it's, to me, it's just fugazi, right? Um, so he says, Bud Crawford is great, no doubt. He wants to be the upper echelon of greatness conversation with guys like Ray Leonard, Ray Robinson, Floyd, Ali, Chavez. All he got to do is stop chasing Canelo and fight Boots. What the fuck do Boots? Where, he beat Boots. What do that mean? He get more credit for beating Postal than Boots. He fight Boots. What do that mean? Where did where did that put put him? He fight boots. What they gonna say? These are the niggas that's asking the interview questions. And I like Najee, but he beat boots. What they gonna say? Who did boots beat? Who's Najee? Who was boots best win? I fucking wait. Who was boots best win? I wait. Real Mon Vila, bro. All right. Now, I got another thing for Najee, right? If Boots really wanted to fight Bud, right? And he really wanted to fight Bud, right? For real. Then why are he focusing on Norman? Why not send Bud off? Why not call out Bud in the public? Why not get on the horn with Bud? And say I'm willing to jump up and, and, and take the fight right now. 
Turkey all the cheeks said he a fun to fight. Why not make a public uh campaign to smoke Bud out? Why not? That's all I say. Why not make a public campaign to smoke Bud out? Like Jerron Boos Ennis has literally done nothing in his career. He's not won an actual world title, right? He was emailed a title, right? Um, they sent a bunch of bogus offers, but you know Brian Norman Jr. is the only one that sat there and and re renegotiated the offer. Like this whole thing where they talking about Boots is this great fighter, and they always ask the niggas that they hate on, right? I'm not saying that he hate on Bud, but the consensus is a lot of y'all don't like him, right? To do something that they wouldn't ask nobody else. See, a lot of these dudes, and I'm not saying this about Nas, you need I don't know where he stood on this, but a lot of these dudes was the same niggas that was telling. Errol Spence, not to fight Bud. Now y'all telling Bud to fight Jerron Boos Ennis. That's the whole thing where we supposed to be brothers, man. Get it out the mud. Or call me out or get it out the mud. Them, them, him and his daddy ain't trying to fight nobody. I'm telling y'all that. They really ain't trying to fight nobody, bro. I'm telling y'all that. Because if he was really wanting to go fight Bud, Bernie told you what you got to do. Challenge him. Talk shit to him. Talk shit. Pop your shit. Say, we sent the offer. The bitch nigga don't want to, uh, he don't want to fight. Guarantee you get that fight. But niggas don't be really wanting to fight, bro. They just be talking. These same niggas in Philly that was dick riding Earl Spence. And then when Earl Spence got his ass beat, a lot of them niggas was moving the goalposts. He beat Boots in his, what you get? I want, what you get for beating Boots? What I get? What I get? I beat a prospect with a belt. And tell me on my line, I beat a prospect with a belt. If you line up, but before Errol Spence and Crawford left the 10 best welterweights, he ain't been, beat one of them. So it is what it is. That's crazy. You going, oh, I beat Boots. I'm in the same vein as Robinson. Ray Robinson was the greatest fighter of all time. Ali, who was my second greatest fighter of all time. It's wild. But hey. And you let anybody have a microphone in boxing, this the bullshit content that you get. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.